This is a brief, oh gosh, I say brief, but I'm really going to, um, hopefully I, I get to, this is a celebrity read and review of Natari Naughton, um, that plays Tasha on Power, and was formerly in the group 3LW, she's been in Fame, she's been in, um, the Biggie movie, the biopic of Biggie. Um, I have never seen the show Power. So, if I'm saying something that coincidentally may match up or whatever to it, I have never seen the show. I have a small amount, but it is, you know, it has been on my list to watch the show for several uh, several months, well, say years, because it's four seasons is going on, so I think it's been on about two or three years, I'm not sure. <sighs> She's having, y'all hold up just a second, uh, hello, t t turn that water off. Turn off. All the way off. So yeah, this is you know multitasking. Okay. Don't turn it back on. Turn it off. Um, I like the sound of water, but I just don't want somebody playing in it. I really do love the sound of water, but somebody get over infatuated with it. Bed, no bed. Turn the water all the way off, all the way off in the tub, and go to bed. Not nah, bed. So in this uh. reading. We're just going over two minutes. I'm going to try to make sure this doesn't go over seven. Um, before I open the article, I got, like I said, I did, I did an estimate. Okay, what do I believe she's going to have? And um, I said a girl, and I saw the little pictures. Um, and it said a girl. I love the theme she had for her baby shower. Um, that's just such a wonderful thing, man. She has Caribbean ancestry. Um, that that was so that was so beautiful, and she has a supportive companion by her, um, uh, which is the main mainly what counts, you know, <laughs> a supportive companion of her and who she's having an offspring with. Um. She's also, she's a Taurus. Uh, she's uh, the same day as Joe Cocker, who had the theme song to The Wonder Years. Just a little help for my friends and love lifts us up where we belong. And you are so beautiful. But I know some other people sung that song, and I don't know if it's a controversy of who sung it first or who wrote it or what. I'm not sure. Um, I would definitely, oh my goodness, I have been, I don't know, something how I'm doing this reading, but I had, I love the theme song of the one years, but I hated that show, and I only used to end up watching the show because not had cable, you know, when you be someplace and you not have cable, but I love the theme song so much that I was hoping that the theme song would pop up again while the show was coming on. I love the song. Never knew you ne never knew nobody who sung none of these songs or none of these shows back in the eighties. Um, if you knew some of them from the early nineties, you didn't even know who sung those songs for the longest. Maybe not until internet really came out. You found you might have almost found out. Oh my goodness, that would be a wonderful song. Uh, she says uh, the whole ordeal with 
the 3LW where she said she was blackball. You actually, that was a blessing in disguise. It may have felt and, and, and it seemed and it really was that she was blackballed in the beginning. But actually she was silverballed. <laughs> and that just was, it was not meant for her to be concentrated in that industry. It was meant for her to train. That was something, you know, she visited and she transitioned over to be multi-useful and not uh, get deeply stuck into one little, you know, something that would have, you know, 3LW only was going to go so far as a team group anyway. I didn't see them when they came out going as far as SWV or Escape or I, I just never saw that when they came out. Um, and it, matter of fact, there really was not even a group of my interest. Uh, honestly, it just was not just, ugh, I, I, I didn't even care for the music. Like, she was a good dancer and stuff like that, but I just did not care for that group. Like, what? <laughs> um, but when, um, she got the group, I heard some of the interviews here and there. I didn't keep up with the whole thing. And I believe at that time I was trying to get my life together and also do whatever was going on close you know locally with it around me or at reach uh, so adrian apologized to her and stuff like that now you know adrian is a scorpio now adrian is the, the kind of part that it's only for certain parties to be close with her. That's just I, just how it is with Adrian. That's just certain parties. Um, what I just say, I'm gonna use the word pan out. What I pan out to Natori is, you know, it, it's been you know your silver ball been going silver. Keep it like that. That does not mean to reconnect with that Scorpio. <laughs> Just keep it cordial. Hey, how you doing? If you have a vent, I'm a, but so far as let's get into conversations and getting to no, uh, uh-uh. that just it, things just gonna rehash. So to keep the peace, to keep the uh, apology genuine, the best to do is cordially engage on many separate rules. <laughs> that is mm, um the next thing with um the show power. I have never seen the show. Um but she's gonna definitely she's gonna definitely be doing a lot of of a project, she do remind remind of Quad from Medicine, um, Married to Medicine. She does remind of Quad. I seen people wrote some comments about Phaedra, but she may have a little glimpse of Phaedra, maybe a little glimpse, but I don't even parallel. <laughs> I don't even cross her with Phaedra. Like this is like nah. Not, not, not just uh, Phaedra. That's another Scorpio. <laughs> so she needs to, you know, if she has the Scorpio in her back choice, or she kind of needs to keep that right where it's at in the back distance from her. <laughs> Phaedra is another Scorpio, okay? And, um,. You know, she, she has a family. She has a relationship to be focused on and continuing doing the endeavors of where she's, um, I mean, when she did fame, I was just, I, 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 I literally had tears. Oh my goodness. I was like, and, and that's when I saw when she did fame, I said, oh, she's about to big time. I, I knew then that, okay, she's going to be okay. She may not be that goal but i knew that from fame she actually did that and it was like she did it a cappello 
she played that part. And then it also reminds me of uh, Sister Act. Um, with Lauren Hill in it. That, that reminds me so much. I mean, she really did that film. I'm really hoping that she can really um, have a, a collaboration. Um, something, you know, maybe a tour appearance with Lauren Hill. Maybe a tour, a cappello, uh, open mic, something with Lauren Hill. Um... Oh gosh, um, I'm mean, I'm just so much feeling the Joe Cocker energy. So I, you know, um, uh, and, and then this song "You Are So Beautiful." That's the song that people usually dedicate to their uh, young girl, their you know their their daughter, their little girl. What was that movie? Uh, My Girl or something? No, what was the movie? It was something where the daddy dedicated a song to the daughter. And then they had, I think they played it in My Girls, too. The one with, um, McC the McCullough in it. I believe they played that song in there, but, um, I mean, those songs are called Love Lift Us Up Where We Belong. I mean, I'm trying to get all of, like, those are three Joe Cocker songs I remember right now. And he goes high on a mountain high. Oh, love lift us up where we belong. Oh, gosh, that's the only three songs I remember by Joe Cocker, but I know he has over 200-plus songs in his catalog. I know he do. Plus, there are some songs that he wrote that other artists sang, but those are the only three come to mind as I'm doing this Natari note too. I do have another video that I do plan on uploading by me. What I'm gonna I may upload Natari Norton up first. Um, before I upload the it was supposed to be up for Much Matters Monday previously, but it's not. Life is a yeah, y'all know life is a deck of cards, even though I don't really flash them. Um <laughs> And, um, oh gosh, um, <laughs> so the next one I'll be doing, um, I don't know when it is, but it'll be making good. I do have a re, I have a part one, I see that 40 some people saw part one of the one with Phaedra, but that's also a part two that continued, and I guess it looked like it was very slow, like it was at zero or five views for the longest, and then, I come back and it caught up to 20, the uh, part two. Um, but there is a part two with the Phaedra one. So it's part one, part two. I will link it um, below. Um, but congratulations. I, know, I don't want to say but. I'm like, so congratulations, Natari Norton. You're having the aqua. Aqua son. Aqua daughter, aqua daughter. She's having an aqua daughter, and, um, well, I'm sure, um, she's going to be beautiful. And, um, yeah, I mean, you already lifted up. I mean, you're, you're down to, even with you, you know, she's just been a down to earth. And I believe we really got to see more and, um, more of her once she got out of 3LW, and when I saw Fame, that's when I was like, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just like, that. that's what love was lifted, like, like the Eagles. And they had a group called the uh, Eagles also. Um, congratulations on your daughter and to your companion. T-T-Y-L.